The Fish Fish Fruit model Azure Dragon is a mythical Zoan-type devil fruit that allows the user to transform into a hybrid and full version of an Azure Dragon at will. It was eaten by Kaido. At some point after Kaido had partaken of the fruit, he had a sample of his lineage factor extracted by Vega Punk, who used it to create an artificial devil fruit granting the same ability, though the result was deemed a failure, said fruit was eventually consumed by Kazuki Mamanasuke, who since can become a pink dragon. But before we continue this video, please smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and click notification bell, or you will miss future anime videos. On the day of the God Valley incident 38 years ago, at God Valley, Charlotte Lindland gave this fruit to Kaido, who at the time was her crewmate on the Rocks Pirates. Big Mom considers this a debt for life that Kaido cannot escape from. Sometime within 34 years of him eating the fruit, Kaido was in marine captivity, and the scientist Vegapunk extracted his lineage factor for the purpose of creating an artificial devil fruit. This replica fruit, while deemed a failure, was later eaten by Kazuki Mamanasuke, shortly before the present day after having been stored on Punk Hazard. Mamanasuke thereby gained a dragon transformation much like Kaido's, even coming with the ability to produce flame clouds albeit Mamanasuke's power was initially out of his control. This fruit enables the user to turn into a giant, serpentine, blue-scaled dragon, specifically a type of eastern dragon called the Azure Dragon, and into a human-dragon hybrid. Apart from scales, acquired dragon features include horns, a second pair in Kaido's case, sharp fangs, and limbs with clawed hands and feet. In his full beast form, Kaido grows to rival a small town in size, making this the largest yet seen Zoan transformation. His human beast form, while not as colossal, is still very large and, in shape, comes closer to his human form, with scales on his arms, outer torso, back, and legs as well as six horns on his head, claws on the hands and feet, and a long tail. As with all zones, the user's transformation significantly boosts their physical abilities. The full dragon form's strength befits its size, as the user can severely damage structures like houses merely by brushing by them. When Kaido flew around a cabaret town in a drunken stupor, it was believed that if he continued wreaking havoc senselessly, not just the town but Kuri itself would get wiped out. The user's arms, while thinner compared to the rest of their dragon body, are still very strong, a single swipe of which can't send someone flying with great force. In the anime, the full dragon form's power is further exemplified, with Kaido Singh causing intense, gusty shockwaves simply by moving through the air or being thrown around, as well as with a mere puff or burp. He was able to send Monkey D. Luffy flying with immense force using a tail swipe and easily overpowered Luffy's hacky imbued use of Gear 3rd with one of his dragon hands, as well as by thrusting forward his head. Two decades ago in his fight with Kazuki Odin, Kaido in his beast form repeatedly clashed with the samurai on even terms, including matching the force of Odin's Tajin Shiradaki with his head, countering his blaze with his claws and fangs, and even using one of his mustache tendrils to ensnare and toss Odin away. Apart from raw strength, the user's size as a dragon belies their mobility, as they can move about at great speeds while keeping pace with significantly fast, human-sized foes. The scales covering the user's dragon body are noted to be extremely durable. Blows of incredible power, including one strengthened by regular armament hockey, have proven utterly ineffective at hurting Kaido. When in full dragon form, he shrugged off a non-stop pummeling by Luffy's strongest gear third attacks, without being scathed in the slightest. Nonetheless, as with Kaido's extremely tough human skin, his dragon scales can be penetrated and blood drawn from him using attacks that bypass external defenses, like advanced grade armament hockey. Beside the transformation itself, the fruit bestows multiple supernatural abilities, the most out of any mythical Zoan seen so far. The most prominent of these is the power to conjure flame clouds, with which the user can travel through the air by using them as footholds, effectively enabling flight. Kaido's dragon arms tend to be continuously encircled by fiery rings which may be said clouds helping him fly more effectively through the air. Also, the flame clouds can be used to lift other objects, including entire islands, into the air, and move them, for extended periods even, and while using their other powers simultaneously. 
Furthermore, there is no apparent need for the user to transform in order to manifest or at least maintain flame clouds. In addition, the user can create and control various elements as a dragon, both in their full beast and human beast form. The most commonly seen element used is fire, such as a concentrated scorching blast of fire that the user breathes out, which can travel many kilometers in the span of seconds and instantly decimate a large earthen structure, as well as rapidly shooting fireballs in the anime. Aside from flames, the user can launch lightning bolts while roaring and cutting blades of wind while blowing, on top of stirring up strong, fast rotating tornadoes. It is also shown that Kaido can summon large hails of ice in the video games. The user's human beast form sees their draconic strength focused in significantly smaller frame, with this diminished size granting them a boost in agility and speed while seeming overall better adapted to close combat. The user also retains access to their elemental attacks, like their fire breath, though with a smaller range in accordance with their smaller body size, compared to their full dragon form. Kaido uses this fruit's power frequently in combat. He typically starts out battles in his full dragon form and transforms back into a human upon getting more serious, his base form seeming more suited for intense and up-close, one-on-one -on -one combat. If his adversaries prove strong enough to handle both his human and full dragon forms, Kaido will enter his human beast form, quite possibly the strongest of his three basic forms. It is generally used in all-out fights against stronger and faster enemies that his two other forms have trouble dealing with. When engaging foes in his full dragon form, Kaido frequently hovers a considerable distance away from them, out of melee range, so as to assault them with destructive long-ranged attacks of various elements, like his fire breath. In actual close combat, he has been seen chomping down on opponents within reach or powerfully swiping at them with his claws. When entering his human beast form, Kaido takes to wielding his kanabo, Haseke, like he does in his human form. With the boost he gains in strength, he can swing the club with extreme force, causing massive shockwaves and striking melee blows too dangerous for most enemies to take head on. Becoming far more agile than as a full dragon, Kaido can move around by slithering through the air, using his dragon tail to propel himself forward or upwards, which aids his offensive moves. Kaido also demonstrates the ability to breath fire in his hybrid form, though with less force due to his decrease in size. Both in and outside of battle, Kaido can create his flame clouds to use primarily as footholds or to levitate himself in order to take flight. He can thus easily travel between islands by flying quickly and crossing the open sea, such as between Onigashima and the Wano mainland. He can also levitate objects, even gigantic ones, by creating enough of his clouds to surround whatever he wishes to float away. This was chiefly seen when Kaido sent the entire island of Onigashima aloft to proceed with his new Onigashima project, levitating the island toward Wano's flower capital. A sample of this devil fruit power has been extracted from Kaido's lineage factor to be used as a template for Vegapunk's attempt at creating his own artificial devil fruit. Although he did manage to recreate the fruit, the project itself was deemed a failure. Bolo Breath Kaido's most frequently seen attack, which has him gather fire inside his mouth before breathing it out into a huge, conical blast toward his target of choice. This blast travels rapidly, in the anime covering a tremendous distance within moments, and is extremely powerful. It can instantly decimate a large structure, like a castle's ruins while leaving the surrounding terrain. Like a mountaintop, blown to bits and scorched, can set a sizable portion of a forest ablaze, and even be split into numerous smaller fireballs shot out like bullets. Despite this move's strength and scope, it can be countered by fox fire style. When Reizo cast this attack back at Kaido via his scrolls, it proved able to somewhat damage the latter's own dragon body. When used in his human hybrid state, Kaido's bolo breath is much smaller in scale, enough to shatter rock but not to cause widespread destruction, and thus is suited better for close-range combat. This smaller version of the bolo breath proved able to clash with and neutralize Yamato's Namuji Hyoga, Kaifu, an attack where Kaido blows strongly, thereby creating powerful, crescent wind blades that can easily cut through solid stone as well as human bodies. The move was first seen being used in Kaido's fight against the nine red scabbards on the roof of Onigashima's skull dome, severing Kikunajo's left arm, but was not named until Kaido used it against the worst generation members on the same roof. 
Tatsumaki. Kaido spins his serpentine body into a coil to summon several tornadoes around him. Because of their wind speed, these tornadoes can pull people away from the ground and within Kaido's range in midair, where he may chomp down on them. The technique was first seen in use against the worst generation members on the Skull Dome's roof. It was effective in capturing a defenseless monkey D. Luffy, but Rurano Azoro was able to neutralize it with his own Kikujo, O Tatsumaki Technique. Tatsumaki Kaifu, an attack that combines Tatsumaki and Kaifu. Kaido spins the lower portion of his elongated dragon body at great speeds, simulating a tornado himself. He then blows crescent wind blades towards his own spinning body, making the blades fly unpredictably in various directions. Kaido also roars lightning while performing this technique, but that itself does not seem to be part of the attack. This move was first seen being used in Kaido's fight against the worst generation. Due to the massive amount of space the user takes up after entering their full beast form, their ability to move about in enclosed spaces is greatly hindered. Additionally, depending on how much care is given to their surroundings, the user's transformed body having a propensity for collateral damage may become a liability for allies. The user's massive body also leaves more openings, making them an easier target for attacks, especially multi-directional assault from more than one enemy. While the user's dragon scales are immensely tough, the user remains vulnerable to attacks that, by their nature, can bypass external defenses. Usage of advanced, emitted armament hockey, in particular, can let opposing parties hurt the user's dragon form, even if used by enemies that are physically far weaker than the user, as can conquer or infused attacks. Other examples of effective attacks reaching the targets and sides are ones utilizing powerful sound waves, or the Ope Ope no Mi's surgical techniques. Moreover, the user's signature ability to breathe fire can be countered by an opponent who knows how to cut flames. Besides all these factors, the user is affected by the standard devil fruit weaknesses, 